Well, I'm curious. You you le- obviously learned a lot of lessons because you run a team now. So what was the difference or what did you carry from that moment of failure into what you do now and how you you successfully run your your team now? I think I think the main thing is I brought on a partner. Um, so when we switched from our real estate uh, traditional team to the flipping business, I converted one of my agents and I, I identified talent is really what happened. So I saw like, this guy's really good. Like he's dedicated and, and I already had gone through a bunch of changes and he's stuck through it the whole time. Like I got to reward him and keep him. So how do I do that? And the way I did is I just brought him in as a partner. So he now um, owns a portion of the company and um, he acts as the integrator. And what I've realized is I'm very good at sort of, um, I always use the illustration. I'm, I, I kind of drive ahead and make a big mess and the weight comes up behind me and spits up all sorts of dead fish and, um, you know, creates waves and it causes all sorts of issues. And Tyler follows behind me and picks up the pieces and figures out how to put them together in a, in a, in a, an actually collected manner. Um, and I think that relationship has been very rewarding, um, in a way that I don't think Tyler could have built this business and I don't think I could have on my own. Um, and so it's been, uh, it's been really rewarding, but I think that's the main thing I realized is like, the brokerage. I was trying to be the head of everything. And so creating departments where people are in charge and have the ability to make decisions and, and don't have to report to me has been very important. Yeah. Yeah. It's interesting. The analogy, and I love that analogy with the fish and the wake. I, it's almost like a partnership has to be like the other person has to think, oh, well, uh, you know, that's the, the stinky part of the job. I don't want that. But then the partner who is doing that part of the job has to think, well, I kind of like the smell of that fish. I kind of like this job. It's like, it almost has to be that way on both sides. Um, in order for it to work, because obviously you want to enjoy the tasks that you're doing in that partnership. So I've never heard that analogy before, but I think it's a really good analogy. It's a very, it's a very good mental, mental picture other than the dead fish. <laughs> yeah. And, and like you, you and I might ver- make very good investing partners together, but yeah. we probably wouldn't make very good business partners Yeah, because, yeah. Cause right. If you have two visionaries together, nothing's going to get done. Right. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> so, so we both need an integrator and have somebody that's an opposite attitude. Um, if yeah. you get, you know, if you hire somebody that's like yourself, it's not going to be a good hire. And that's another mistake I made. One of my first employees was a really nice guy, but was way too much like myself. So he wanted to do my job. And when I assigned him, he constantly wanted to delegate what I was delegating to him. Mm. And, um, yeah, you're, you're exactly right. You got to find a partner that wants the things that you don't want. Um, yeah. and so that's Tyler, you know, he, he loves data. Uh, he loves putting like unbelievably detailed systems together where I'm like, ah, that's good enough. But he, he's like, oh no, you're not even close. <laughs> that's good.